The holidays are the best time of year, right? It's the most beautiful time of the year. Except for the fact that after the holidays are done, you're stuck with this big old belly. Because the whole time going through the holidays, you think it's okay to eat all your mom's food and okay to eat all the cookies in the refrigerator and okay to eat all the ice cream in the freezer until you realize that after, after the holidays are done, you're back to your normal life. It's back to reality and you got this big stomach. And what's worse for me is the team of the year ceremony is coming up. So Skill Z got to look right for that. And you're probably thinking like, yo, why is Skill Z going to the team of the year ceremony? I mean, this guy plays for Electric Bilbao B. No shots at Electric Bilbao B, okay? Calm down. But he plays for the B team. I mean, he's barely scoring that many. I mean, he's scoring goals, but he ain't scoring Suarez amount of goals. He ain't scoring Messi amount of goals. He ain't scoring Neymar amount of goals. It's CR7 too. Let me not leave him out. I know. Your boy Skill Z not really beasting when it comes to like those guys. And yeah, I'm not in the team of the year ceremony, but what I am in is the audience. See, my boy Ronaldo hit me up and was like, yo, Skills, listen, I want you at the ceremony because you're my Portuguese brother. Plus, you play for Real Madrid. You're just on loan at Athletic Bilbao. So I got on my first flight out, you know, because from Athletic to Madrid, I'm not really sure what the flight is, but I had to take a plane, okay? I don't know why I had to take a plane, though. So I took the plane. To Ronaldo's house. When I got to his house, it was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Big swimming pool. You know, beautiful house. Gorgeous house. And I was ready. I was ready to go to this, go to this, this awesome ceremony. And when I finally got to the stage to look at, I realized that this is what I need in my life. Not hanging out with Ronaldo and stuff. What I need in my life is to be on that stage getting the best player of the year award. I need to be the guy receiving the beautiful blue card in FIFA 16. Well, 17, because this year I'm not going to get it. I need to be that guy that's beasting and feasting and being known as the best player in the world. Not Messi, not Ronaldo, not Neymar. Me! I need to be on that stage. That's what I noticed by going to the ceremony. But let's forget about the team of the year ceremony. Let's start to remember that we got to win games with Electric Bilbao because we're in a good place. Oh, I let it fly from distance, but I went right to the keeper. We're in a good place. In the uh, yeah, I'm getting my Ronaldo on. I hung out with Ronaldo for a weekend. I tried to get my Ronaldo free kick on. That thing just flew up. As you can see, I'm not the best player in the world yet. I'm trying to get there. But when I, I become the best player in the world right here, scoop, bang, booyah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put that sexy. Sexy booyah music on for me real quick. Oh, your boy skills beasting and feasting. Weak foot, it doesn't matter. It's in the back of the night. It's a great finish. A beautiful through. Can we talk about the through pass with my teammate? Oh, my God. I don't think that pass was for me. I stole it, and then I went and banged it. I stole it, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. We got a goal, and that was really all that happened the entire game. Now, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Wanting to be the best player in the world. Wanting to beast and feast. I did find myself a sexy goal there, so I take it. One day I am going to be the best player in the world once my, once my manager decides to stop benching me. Once again, he benches me, I think, due to fitness. And you know how that stuff goes. When I don't play, when I'm not in the lineup, we lose. As you can see here, as we're simming this game, my team is losing. My team missed the penalty. My team's not beasting and feasting because your boy Skillsy's not on the field. And you got to have your boy Skillsy on the field. Plus, I just hung out with Ronaldo. I know how to play footy, okay? Anyways, we move on to the second game of the episode. And things just weren't looking that beautiful for us. We get this one good opportunity here, and I just get it ripped right from me. And literally, that was it. Boys, look at how much possession Electric Bilbao had. 24. Now, I've been playing FIFA for many years. I don't remember ever playing for a team that got 24% possession. EA, the My Player's cool, man. It's a fun mode. But can my team touch the ball on Legendary, please? Just for a second. Can we please have an opportunity to score a goal, please? It's crazy, man. On My Player, when you're playing on World Class or Legendary, even Professional, you just don't touch the ball enough, man. The game ends nil-nil, and it's not because I'm a bad my player player. It's because my team doesn't touch the rock to save their lives. I get a 5.2. I don't give myself a booyah. I don't give myself an assist. I don't even give myself a good shot on target. I just got myself, like, a lot of muscle in my thighs because I chased the ball around for hours. Well, pretty much an hour. And they just kept moving the ball so fast. I could never get it. My team never touched the ball. The, pos the possession was stupid. I sit this game, okay, because my legs are too tired to run after the ball because I was chasing the entire game 
The last game I chased the ball for so long I had to be benched for this game because I got Charlie Horses going down my right leg. My left leg's probably like dislocated because I ran so much. It's terrible, man. I actually need two games off because I'm so tired from chasing the ball for so 24% possession, boys. Come on, man. I'm not in the lineup again. We did get a big boy victory, which gave us three points. Then we get ourselves a pretty early game in this game. And I'm just chilling in you know, at this point I actually thought to myself, like, I wonder if I let the Bobao's actually done with me because they're not playing me. Like I was legit scared that I wasn't part of the starting eleven anymore. Like, did I really put in that bad of performances? Did I really make that big of a mistake going to the team of the year tournament or ceremony without telling the coach? Doesn't matter, boys. Doesn't really matter. I'm actually gonna be back in the lineup. But before we go back into the lineup, we gotta mess around with the transfer window deadline day. And I swear down to you, I was praying. That Real Madrid Black like, yo, skills, we want you back, okay? Forget Benzema, we're selling them. We want you back. That's not going to happen. You know why? Because Disney didn't make this video. This isn't a Cinderella story. This isn't Bambi. This isn't Pocahontas. Those movies were actually awesome. Remember Bambi when the mom dies? That was so sad, man. I remember being a kid so scared. And then when a lion, Aladdin's, not Aladdin. I was going to say when Aladdin's dad died. No, when Simba's dad dies in The Lion King, that was messed up, fam. Anyways, boys, uh, nothing bad happened to Aladdin, right? No, he ends up getting the girl. Anyways, boys, transfer window deadline day, okay? Your boy goes nowhere. Nothing really happens. But I was praying Real Madrid would come and get me back. They don't come get me back. I'm still alone on Electric Bilbao. And now I'm back into the starting 11, which is a beautiful thing. It's sexy. It's gorgeous. I'm back into the starting 11. I got one goal this episode. This is the third game of the episode. There's a lot of games this episode, but a couple of them were sim because manager didn't think I had the legs to play in it. For some reason, we got some crazy fog over here in Spain. I mean, fog, like the game almost got canceled due to this fog over here that EA put on the screen. And my keeper obviously is blind because this guy scores a header. And now I'm going to say my keeper's not at fault here. There's so much freaking fog in the stadium that my, my, my keeper couldn't see the ball come in because the stupid fog. I don't even know why the fans came to the game. You can't see nothing. EA, come on, man. Sort this out. Yeah, this fog. There's no need for this, man. What is this fog I'm looking at right now, fam? What's the point of this? Anyways, man, as you can see, my teammates are having a hard time getting the ball. But finally, they get through the fog, probably using their binoculars. Find me. I send a beautiful through pass in. Big opportunity right here. Bang it. He misses somehow. I do get some good accomplishments. But I should have gotten an assist right there. Got a long pass. Of I did good right there, boys. That, that's some good, good accomplishments right there. With training and these accomplishments my overall is gonna fly up by the end of the season i'm gonna be a great overall i truly believe that i'm moving to the box swiftly real nicely real beastly and feastly bang it keeper saves it i was pretty upset with myself because i honestly should have scored but the next five minutes of this game is actually beautiful another corner for us so that's one right there he sends it into the middle big opportunity that one gets knocked away it stays with us the header falls back to me i'm gonna let this big boy fly scoop ah that sucked. That one just went wide. I thought I scored there, but we had a lot of opportunities right before halftime. Now we move on in this game. Look, another opportunity. Nice little through pass. Yo, hit me right here. Put me in. Put me in. Nice. Good ball. I'm in there like swimwear. Big opportunity. I cut inside like a boss. I'm going to bang it. I'm going to let it fly. Ah. See, what happened was I was doing the little ball roll so that I could just bang. Whoo! Should have scored there. Big opportunity for Skillsy one more time. Dancing around everybody in the box. Looking like a boss. Let it fly. And the keeper... I didn't, I didn't know that Courtois moved to the second division in Spain, but he did, apparently. So we're going up against Courtois. Nice shot here. Again, Courtois with another save. Courtois slash Joe Hart. He's mixed. He's like a hybrid of both of them. It's incredible these saves this keeper made. So we move on to the game. I'm going to get another opportunity here. I send it back to my teammate. Why? Because sharing is caring, obviously. Can't be greedy. Got to feed the needy. Good pass here. Now I'm going to be greedy. Finesse. Courtois almost came with a big boy save. Manager said yeah, I had enough. Took me out about like the 89th minute. I don't know why he took me out that late on, but he did. Anyways, boys, that's how it's going to end. We got a goal. Uh, we played three games. Simmed a lot. Boys, if you enjoyed the mind play, I need you to smash a thumbs up, man. Because a lot of people in the comments down below are always going crazy on me. Say like skills, where's the my player? Why haven't you uploaded the my player? The reason I haven't uploaded my players because I've been having so much fun and so much love has been shown on Draft to Glory and on the Manchester United career mode that it took me a little bit to get uh, the my player. I apologize. But if y'all want to see more my players, I need you to get at least one like on this video, man. At least one like. Let me know you like it, man. All right. Thanks for watching, boys. It's been your boy, Double A. Skills. Love your face. Have a great day. And I'm going to see you uh, tomorrow with another video. Maybe a double upload. Who knows? I don't even know anymore, man. Love you guys, though. Booyah. I'm out of here. Booyah Nation. You the best in the world, baby.